Hey, what's up? It's Chanel. Welcome to a new episode of Vital Vinyl Vlog. Today, we have some ripping, speedy, thrash metal from Portland, Oregon. The Chaotic Injustice Demo. Head Split Records. Three tracks of ripping, speed, riddled thrash metal. It fucking rules. What else do you need to know? Like, it's a head split thrash metal release. To me, that's money. Like, yeah, this shit rules. If you like your thrash ripping fast and sounding like it was recorded in 1983, fuck yeah. Normally where, you know, if you see a band live, they'll say, THRASH! <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Chaotic Injustice, what a breath of thrashing, thrash air. Population control, tragedy of unjustifiable humanity, and vicious reality make up this bad boy. And, uh... I forget what other bands these guys are in, but they are in other other projects. High white tops, big tongues. Let's see what we have a Metallica Ride the Lightning shirt. That's pretty sick. I can't see the the second guy or the third guy's t-shirt. But we have Jimmy Flores on bass and vocals, Max Vardian on guitars, and Sergio Genes on drums. Really, really fucking sick release. Produced and mixed by Charlie from Ascended Dead, but recorded at Toad House Recording Studios, Portland, Oregon. And yeah. If you're a fan of speed metal, thrash metal, especially from America, fuck yeah. This is trend free thrash metal. There's no radiation or anything like that on here. No songs about just drinking beer, just some fucking killer shit. I like hearing releases like this that like legit, if I didn't know better, I couldn't put a timestamp on it off the top of my head. And I'm trying to figure out whose vocals that reminds me of. Is it the Croy? Is it the fucking Cro-Mags? Hold on a second. This guy's voice reminds me of somebody. That actually reminds me of early Cro-Mags. Like, just that, like, kind of, uh, um, Before the Quarrel. If you've ever heard Before the Quarrel, listen to that version of, uh... Oh, is it, uh, We Gotta Know? But, like, I know it's a different version than the, um... Oh. Fuck, I'm drawing a blank, but yeah, that was fucking cool. Like that, I was like, dude, this guy's vocals remind me of somebody. And it's early Cro-Mags, but that's just me. 
I mean, I'm sure there's some like obscure thrash metal band out there that I missed. But this shit rips, man. Like, you know, I'm a fan of like Razor and. I'm pretty picky with my thrash metal because, like, you have, you know, bands like Sodom, Destruction, and, like, the classics and everything that I feel kind of, you know, nailed it. But there's a lot of bands that still, you know, write killer, ripping thrash metal. A lot of bands add death metal elements like Skeletal Remains, Oxygen Destroyer, and it works in their favor because. Right now, that's not what's, like, popular in death metal. People want, like, you know, caveman <laughs> shit or whatever, you know? Like, they want that knuckle-dragging, down-tuned death. But I like when bands, you know, go the speedy route or go the evil route and don't do what everybody else is doing at the moment. Cause this fucking rules. Not only is it fun as hell to listen to, but the songs are extremely well written. Again, these holes just appeared in my jeans. Like after a couple listens, I need a new pair of pants. But this is seriously so fucking fun and just killer. Like I was saying, the songwriting is fantastic. Like, I was legit, like, blown away, like, with just the production. Because they really killed it. <laughs> Speed! So it's like a mix of early Cro-Mags vocals with early Slayer vocals. That's the vibe I'm getting here. Like, uh, I would say Show No Mercy error Slayer vocally. But this is so fucking good. <laughs> and, you know, I really wish I could say I'm the biggest Metallica fan. But, like, after Injustice For All... I mean, don't get me wrong, I, I would, you know, like my local record store has the Black Album on tape, and I was actually looking at it, like, I mean, I didn't, I didn't have money for it, it was only like eight bucks too, like, it wasn't bad at all, I thought it was going to be like, you know, like $20, cause sometimes they up their prices a little bit, I mean, I, I could kind of show you right now, like, something that's definitely overpriced, like, I forget what I don't I don't really feel like pulling out records, but I'll put it this way. It was a it was a new Cannibal Corpse reissue from like twenty fifteen or twenty sixteen of Tomb of the Mutilated and it was like thirty two fucking dollars brand new. But you know, it's Cannibal Corpse, like it's Tomb of the Mutilated. What am I gonna do? So, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much what it would end up being if I were to have ordered it from, I think it's Indie Merch Store or whatever. But anyways, Head Split Records still has copies of some Chaotic Injustice from Portland, Oregon, Demo 2021, Thrashing Speedy Thrash Metal. From Portland, Oregon. It's fucking sick. If you're a fan of thrash metal, and even if you know zero about thrash metal, that demo is fun as shit. Is it on a municipal waste level of, like, fun? No. It's not 
party thrash or whatever. There's no mentions of like thermonuclear anything. Nothing like that. So like I, I do like, you know, Toxic Holocaust. Like I'm not gonna front. Like, cause they remind me of Sodom. Like, especially Evil Never Dies. Like, I really, like when that album first came out and that new wave of thrash metal started in like the early 2000s and then really got kicked into high gear by Municipal Waste, who I remember like their first couple tours were some of the funnest tours, I've like funnest shows I've ever been to. Like, first time I saw Ghoul, too, was, like, such a good fucking time. I mean, Ghoul's a little more death metal-y, but, like, still. To me, they're, like, a, you know, nowadays they have, like, surf rock elements, and they're all over the place, and I think that's awesome. They just put out that li live record. Yes, I am a fan of Ghoul. I like Ghoul a lot, actually. That's where I got the term maniacs from. <laughs> but, anyways... If you're looking for some, if you're looking for something that's not death metal, that's not black metal, but is still fucking sick on head split, and you're looking for more straightforward of a vocal delivery, because otherwise I'd be like, yo, get like get the new, uh, I think. Perverser has a new release, and I think Vomit has a new release. Because those two bands are, like, so fucking good. But they kind of have that, those, like, black, thra like, blackened thrash vocals. Where it's like, yeah, like, vocally. Especially Vomit. Vomit's, like, on a whole nother level of, like, evil-sounding black death evil thrashing awesomeness and I love it but uh yeah the fact these dudes come from Portland and you know put out a killer slab of thrash in 2021 I just think that's awesome so if you're a fan of thrash metal you cannot go wrong with chaotic injustice head split records Grab one before it's gone. But definitely a band to look out for if you live in the Portland area and you see that Chaotic Injustice is playing a show near you with like some grind bands like fucking Caustic Wound or something. Go and have some fun, you know. Be safe, but have some fun. Anyways, my favorite song on here, I really like tragedy of unjustifiable humanity second track on here just fucking like it's one of those songs like i really wish i could still headbang like but i can't because <laughs> still i have a bunch of torn muscles in the back of my neck so i, I can't i can't headbang but it's it's one of those albums where it's legit hard not to interact but I hope everybody has a safe Halloween. I hope everybody's checked out the new Accursed Womb song. We only have a handful of Goat Worm uh, demo tapes left. So if you want a copy of Baptismal Excrement, that's your chance right now. Like We have eight copies left. So grab one because I don't know if we're doing a second press on our own. I mean, if anybody's interested, let us know. But, uh, yeah, we did not know this was going to sell like it did. And thank you to everybody that grabbed the copy so far. But, uh, let's sell out. And, um, the new Accursed Womb song, uh, yeah, once the second one drops and everything, just, just give it a little bit. It's going to be a little bit of time because uh, we are using somebody to master everything that we all look up to and we know is going to do a damn good job on the recording. So uh, I don't want to really spoil that. I want 
I want to wait, but um, we do have t-shirts and that shirt money is going to get the record mastered and uh, well the promo mastered then there's a split then hopefully by the end of 2022 the full length because we're not fucking around with the full length like we want it to be something special like I don't know it's just something I don't want to ramble on right now but when it comes to goat worm I personally want to do a Goat Worm, a Cursed Womb split, the way Spectral Voice and Blood Incantation did a split. I think that would be cool as fuck, but um, we have other plans first, so maybe in the future that will happen, because I'm not done with Goat Worm. Like, I am beyond proud of my vocal delivery in that project, and... You know, I recorded my vocals in two sessions without my neck brace, but the Accursed Womb song is all done with me holding the neck brace away from my throat like that. So when you listen to the new Accursed Womb song, just keep that in mind. I'm wearing a neck brace when doing those vocals. It was extremely painful and not comfortable at all. I did not let ph know that i was in pain but i got my job done second time around i was not in pain i was like yo let's fucking do this i was so hyped that's why the goat worm shit like track five on there um needle scab i recorded that in one take but i doubled over it and added some like extra gurgles and shit but, like, the main vocals, you can listen to it. There's no overdub. There's nothing. It's just straight up. I did everything just in one, like, vomited, legit, like, vomited vocal take. I, I used kind of Dead Infection as an influence and just kind of made it just like, like I, I, had, I had the words in front of me. I was like, dude, let's just make, I'm just going to make them as inintelligible as possible. But you could still make out some of the words because I was trying. I try a lot with a cursed womb to pronunciate words. And you'll hear a lot of certain words in a new song. Like You'll definitely hear your false Lord Jesus fucking Christ. I purposely like pronounce like pronounced Jesus Christ so it would be very audible same thing with uh, there, there's a one part where it talks about like icy semen and same thing it's like I made it so it pops out at you so you can kind of hear it well I didn't make it like that uh, PH did when he did the rough mix but we have only a handful of cassettes of Goat Worm left. The Accursed Womb track is just digital for now. Until the second track's done. Womb of the Ibanex. Just wait. You folks are going to be stoked. But for now, get into some ripping thrash metal from Chaotic Injustice with Demo 2021 on Head Split Records. As always, thanks for watching, you fucking rule. Hails.